am no Jean. I am a paleontologist, but I am also play accordion. <laughs> When I was a child, I wanted to be an archaeologist and study the story of human beings. At that time, I wanted to study ancient Egypt because how mysterious it was. At university, I liked vertebrates. I found they are very interesting. Later, I decided to take the postgraduate entrance examination. When I saw the name of the institute, which is the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleontology, I felt my heart skipped a bit. I knew this is where I should be. Professor Zhu Ming gave me a book, A Fish Caught in Thai. After reading this book, I fall in love with ancient fish. The standard procedure for our research is to first find fossils in the field, bring them back to the lab for preparation, then work on CT scans and the digital segment the interested area in 3D on computer. Recently, we are doing our research on the brain of a relatively primitive lobofin fish. After CT scanning, we find that its paraspheroid bone was very different from that of all the other fishes we knew in the past. Previously, research had misinterpreted it. The real paraspheroid bone was buried in the head of the fossil, and we could only know it from CT scans. Such a discovery made me very excited. I was the first person who find this totally new thing and I have the responsibility to study it clearly and share it to the world. Through scanning and reconstruction, we unlock the structural connection of animals, including fish from the past to our daily life. Creatures are amazing. They look ordinary on the outside, but the 3D internal structures can be shocking. These studies can benefit not only researchers, but also the public in appreciate the beauty of biology and the beauty of science. This is my dream and what I love to do. I'm very happy with my career. I study whatever interests me in my field. I believe we shouldn't set any limits in our exploration. When I decided to study paleontology, my parents strongly supported me. Ever since I was a kid, my parents have given me the right to make my own decisions. The support from my family is the biggest driving force on my journey forward. I am not afraid of making decisions. There is no one path in the world that is absolutely right. But if I choose one, I will go forward firmly. My tip is, once you made that decision, do not keep looking back and forth. Do not set limits on your life. I once watched a movie, and there was a line that said, if you quit today, you will quit every day in your life. This sentence gives me encouragement to find a way to solve my problem instead of running away from them. Find your own passion, commit to it, and keep going with it, and you will definitely gain something.